Hey everybody, a happy Sunday. I hope that wherever you are and whatever you are doing, you are having an amazing weekend. It's incredibly warm here today. It's been like in the 20 degrees Celsius, 70 degrees Fahrenheit kind of range and the snow is gone and the rain that we had earlier this week is gone and everything is going well. I cannot not start my chicken and up date garden thing or my chicken and garden update thing it's been a long week without giving you a bit of an update on the incredibly robust chicken that is Ashley so Ashley is now in the broody coop which is in a bit of a state but this is Ashley yep she is doing much better She's still spending um, a large part of her time inside just clucking at people to get away. So we're going to give her some, some peace and quiet. But basically, this is a miniature run that we've created hastily from an omelette that a family member gave us. And it is designed for people who have chickens who want their chickens uh, in the garden and have sort of one two three chickens this is supposed to be for three chickens and the run normally goes further but because there's just one chicken in there she's convalescing we've actually put a double layer around just to try and make sure that it's safe from predators we're also really quite close to the main coop so hopefully charlie will shout if anything nasty comes along and you can lock her in the coop at night time to keep her safe. So really this is just during the daytime. We've got cameras, we've got Charlie. Hopefully she will be safe. Thank you to all of the people who gave really wonderful kind words in the comments last week. I know a lot of you have chickens. I just haven't realised how many of you have chickens and how many of you were kind of wishing good wishes for hens that needed to be looked after. Unfortunately, Charlie has become increasingly curmudgeon in the last couple of weeks and he's started to get a little bit territorial. So I have to watch a little bit when it comes to Charlie, but I'm just waiting for Grace's daughter to hurry up and get in here. Come on, darling. And Charlie's right there, waiting to be a Charlie. Come on, in you go. Come on. Come on, Charlie, you too. Come on, Charlie. Don't be a, don't be a you-know-what. Thank you. So they've got some fresh water and some food, and I'm actually going to put them to bed for the night, because why not? That was a Charlie. I don't know if you saw that. He just jumped as I went to kick the door to close it. He did not like that. No, no siree, he did not. He is a grumpy old man, and I don't know why... Uh, roosters do this but it's not the first time I've seen a rooster get really territorial and grumpy as they get older so I don't know if that's the equivalent of him becoming a conspiracy theorist and wearing a certain type of hat and attending rallies that maybe he shouldn't in his old age but he's definitely becoming less tolerant and more angsty and grumpy so if you have any ideas on that, let me know. Uh, unfortunately, because of the rain earlier this week and we also had some overnight frosts, I haven't planted anything else in the garden. However, things in the greenhouse, still in kind of winter stage of just trying to keep everything, you know, prepared for the spring. The temperature in here is really starting to come along nicely. And... I don't know what that noise is, uh, but right now we've got some onion. Um, I'll just drop them on the floor. We've got some onion bunches that need to go in the ground either this weekend or next, and they will start hopefully growing before the um, before the weather starts to get too warm. Um, it, with any luck, I will do some preparation in the ground this weekend and get the soil uh, done. But obviously. I still have a hand in a splint. I'm not supposed to use this hand at all. I can take this off for washing, um, for showering, and that's it. I, I, I would love to tell you that I followed the advice, but I have taken it off a couple of times 
just in order to get something done quickly and to heck with the pain, which I know is bad, but it is what it is. It looks like we've now got some lettuces coming up in here and I haven't seen any beans come up yet. That is fine. It is still very early in the growing and, you know, just a week and a half ago, there was snow in here. So I'm not too worried about it. I do need, though, I do need to cut back some of my raspberries. So I suspect that will also get done this weekend. Look, we've got some shoots coming up here. And I'm thinking if I can cut them back to here, um, we will get rid of some of the overarching branches from last season. Normally you cut them right back. I normally cut them back down to that level. But because uh, we suddenly went from warm weather to cold weather and then we had we had weird weather during the winter. We are obviously still technically in winter. Sorry, it's taking longer to turn the camera around. I don't want to cut things and prune things yet until I'm absolutely convinced we're not going to get another frost. I don't think it will be long. We'll have to wait and see. If you haven't watched the main channel videos, and I know not everybody who watches the chicken and garden does watch the main channel, behold, this is Ortega. Is um, She's our new F-150 Lightning Lariat. Picked up Ortega's on, was it Monday, I think? And one of the things we have to do, hopefully, <laughs> if you unlock, uh, one of the things we have to do is to put in the bed liner. I can show you this. So we need to put in a bed liner. We need to put in the tonneau cover and make that all good. Uh, literally just got the truck back today after getting it um, ceramic coated. And this weekend we are going shopping. We're going to take this trailer and we're going to go and get some drywall because my wife has been so goodness, so patient. And I think it's time. <laughs> We're going to go and get some drywall. We're going to put drywall up in the shop so that everything is ready for her to start making some lovely woodworky stuff again. She's not really done a whole lot of woodworking over the winter, but c'est la vie. My roses. My roses are really starting to grow amazingly well. You might notice I have a new one down there. We're not going to talk about that because roses just jump into my hands. We've also got the standard rose here, which is inherited from Erin uh, and her partner. I'm not really into standard roses, but it's looking good. It's looking good. The grass at the front is starting to do growy things. And also my irises are coming up, but I don't have any spikes yet. So I need to be a little bit careful. I'm not going to see any of them yet, but hopefully soon we'll start to see some spikes pop up. And then hopefully, hopefully we'll have some glorious flowers because flowers are, are amazing. And that's what we really, really like. My Alberta conicas are recovering. So this one was from a couple of winters ago. This one Actually, this one was from a couple of winters ago. This is one we had inside last winter and it will probably shed off some of these and then put some new uh, leaves up. And then over here, the volunteer parsnips from last year and the year before, they are still growing. I have not done anything to them yet. What can I say? I have been... I have been injured and I have been in, in recovery and I've been avoiding the cold snow and I, I cannot wait to get back in the garden because I'm not going to lie, I'm ready for spring. I don't like the really hot summer temperatures but I'm ready for spring and I'm ready for this grass to recover because it has been absolutely abused this winter and it really needs to get fixed. So that is everything going on here. We've got, we've got big plans this year for the garden, lots of plants to go in, certainly in the vegetable garden. And I've got some more bulbs I want to put in. Maybe we'll finally get to put the, uh, to put the fence in. I know we've talked about doing it two or three times over the last couple of years and we never actually got around to doing it so I'm, I'm really hopeful that this time round I'm going to remove a tree that is hiding in M's car uh, this year we're going to hopefully get some 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 fences in and that will make things a little bit nicer but uh, it's certainly going to be easier 
now I have my truck back and I can haul soil and manure and all of that good stuff again. We need to go and get some more hay and straw and bedding for the chickens and feed for the chickens. So that's going to happen. Probably not this weekend. I'm going to wait until next weekend when hopefully we'll have the bed uh, all prepared and ready to haul stuff. And until then, we're just going to put drywall in the big trailer. I say it's big. It's not really very big at all. It's it's a tiny little puny trailer, but it's the only trailer I've got. So uh, at least it's the only trailer for carrying things. So don't be mean to my trailer. Anyway, tell me what's going on in your garden. And of course, I will be back next week. And hopefully, little girl will have made even more wonderful progress. Several people have said that she'll never be able to reintegrate into the flock. And other people have said she will. So I guess time will tell. Let's not worry about it. Let's just keep our fingers crossed for the future. And I'll see you next week. Thanks for joining me today. And if you've got thoughts, make sure you leave them below in our Discord chat room, or you can reach out to us on Mastodon. Thanks to the amazing list of people scrolling by on your screen right now. They are more than some of the 1500 people who help fund this channel through Patreon, YouTube and Ko-fi, covering our bills, paying our team and making sure we can be 100% independent. If you'd like to join them and see your name listed here, just follow the links below. There are a range of different tiers you can sign up for from as little as $1 a month, or if you pay yearly, just over $10 a year. A huge welcome to our newest supporters. Ken F22, Tom Stovall, Sean Harper, Jeffrey Anderson, Welly Yee, James Finley, Rebecca Fussell, SRS5694, Jack Rupel, BMW K1, Larry Ronning, Sean K, MD, Did Great, Mike Kanker, Mario Murillo, Dave Nelson, Abraham Palmer, Ed Beeler, and Peter Nelson. To join the list and get your shout out, become a paid Patreon member for your week of fame. If you'd like to support us with a one-off donation, you'll find links below to make Kofi and Bitcoin donations. And we even have a good old fashioned PO box you can reach us at. The address is linked below. Also, if you're in need of some swag, you'll find out our swag store in the down below. This month, we are celebrating Wrangling EV FUD with an awesome new design by our in-house artist and animator, Erin. Get yours today by heading to our Redbubble store. We've got some great content coming up, so make sure you're subscribed on Peertube or YouTube, and we'll see you soon. We make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. If you want more, the mighty algorithm thinks you'll like this video, but we also think that this one is well worth a look. See you soon, and as always, keep evolving!